excuse the audio for the start of this video we are going mobile with the GoPro because we're actually gonna go to Michael's house and we're gonna pick him up so we can go get some paint with the prices of material lately uh, we decided to go ahead and buy the materials ahead of time to avoid having to pay so much they've just skyrocketed so much in the past couple of years and I don't want to wait any longer and wait for them to skyrocket even more so we're gonna go ahead head to Michael's mix up some paint and then we can go back to the house and put the car back together because Zinc came back I spent a few hours sorting them and bagging them back into the bags we put them in when we took the cars apart so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and drive to Michael's house go get them and then we're gonna go to the place to go get paint Say hello. Hey. What's up, Michael? Hey. How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. You're good. <laughs> That's one heck of a typo, Michael. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> the bag is secured. All right, Michael. Love you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Go get your hair cut. Okay. <laughs> we got back to the house. Michael went ahead and mixed some paint for us. And it's not going to be a surprise. There's no secret what color I'm painting this car. It's going to be a tribute to my old car. And yeah, it's, it's going to be Eve, you know? So we're back at the house. I already laid out some parts on the ground. And the reason for that is because I wanted to get a thumbnail, right? You gotta get a good thumbnail so y'all could click it and watch this video. But we're gonna start putting the car back together so I can get it back on the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start putting stuff back in and then we'll get started. The donor car came with a bulletproof racing double pumper with two Walbro 450s. To make sure that there is no bottleneck, I made half inch feed and 3 8 inch return lines. Before lifting the fuel tank into position, the rear brake hard lines and upper control arms needed to be installed. The fuel tank heat shields were cleaned and painted along with the fuel tank. The top of the tank had some surface rust so it was cleaned up and treated with pour 15. The filler neck was in amazing shape. All it needed was a little cleanup and new hoses and clamps.
Tamam baba. To ensure longevity of the wheel bearings, make sure to always torque the axle nuts to spec. We will have to circle back to the front subframe and steering rack. At this point, it is only being mounted temporarily so we can transport the car to Michael's shop. So everything is just tightened snug.
The front wheel hubs are coated with anti-seize and installed permanently into the knuckles. I had to cut a pair of broken axles I had to use as outside cups to hold the bearings together. Rolling the car around with no load on the bearings will ultimately ruin the bearings. At this point, I also installed my ARP extended lug studs. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Next time we see Eve, she'll be electric blue. Remember, go work on something. Peace.